You know, it was a very pivotal moment in history. Not many people know that Dr. King came here to at then Gross Point High to speak to nearly 3,000 people. And this historic landmark plaque right here shows just exactly how important and pivotal that moment in history was. 54 years ago, the Detroit suburb of Gross Point welcomed Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. into the predominantly white suburb, but it wasn't with open arms. Diana Hicks at the time was working and living in Gross Point and recalls Dr. King's visit to Gross Point High School. I remember the controversy. There were those who were extremely upset because Gross Point is kind of a private community and people don't want them to be, they don't want to be focused on. The city of Detroit had just gone through the summer race riots of 1967. Houses, cars, businesses burning to the ground. The National Guard being called in to help restore law and order. The Gross Point Human Rights Council secured a $1 million insurance policy on Gross Point South High School when Dr. Martin Luther King was going to come speak at the school. The school board voted 5-2 to two in favor of bringing in the civil rights icon. But upon his arrival, protesters lined the streets while King was escorted to, at the time, Gross Point High. Many were concerned about King's safety. The police chief at the time sat on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s lap to shield him from any threats. When I look back on it now, I keep thinking what a genteel speech it was compared to what goes on today. Um, it was just getting people to talk to each other, to relate to each other, to treat each other with respect. There comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe nor politic not popular, but he must do it because conscience tells him it is right. Fast forward to today, the chair that Dr. King allegedly sat in sits in the principal's office of Gross Point South. Above is a photo of Dr. King speaking on that day in the gymnasium. I had the chance to walk the halls of the high school I once attended with South Principal Musa Hamka, where we spoke about Dr. King's historic visit. And to think, right, there was a critical mass of people who said, we need to bring him here. Right despite the opposition that we talked about earlier, people wanted to bring him to Gross Point. And there is a plaque that is mounted on the wall just outside of the gymnasium where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. spoke, and it reads, quote, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And this plaque reads at the bottom in part, quote, however difficult it is to live amidst the constant hurt, the constant insult, and the constant disrespect, I can still sing, we shall overcome, because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. And Gross Point South has had many speakers come through the, these, well, the halls and through the gymnasium, but no one as iconic as the civil rights icon, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Reporting live in Gross Point Farms and Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Peter, thank you so much for bringing us that slice of history that's right in our backyard.